Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. What you see here is FUBAR2000. This is an audio player for Windows. It is available for download at FUBAR2000.org. It's exactly uh, spelled exactly how it sounds, F-O-O-B-A-R-2-0-0-0.org. This is arguably the geekiest audio player for Windows there is, just because this is not about glitz or glamour or anything like that. This is all about functionality. Even Linux people would like this audio player for Windows. If they were using Windows, they would use this player most likely. So anyway, this is the way it looks by default. Oh, if you're asking why is it geeky, it is geeky because you can change everything about the way it looks, and you have uh, the most fine tuning of any audio player, and you'll see why in a second. So anyway, I dropped a few tracks in here. This is the way it looks by default. Uh, you can go to v the easiest way to change the look is to go to view and then layout and quick setup where you get colors here black blue dark blue is a bunch of them here they even have one for hello kitty if you want to use that i like the vintage look which is a uh, neon green on black kind of reminiscent of the way uh, winamp used to look so we'll use that now the first thing you can you'll notice is that anything up here can be dragged around let me just uh, play a track for you so if I want to drag the uh, the meter here down here, I can do that. If I want to drag, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, vol, uh, excuse me, the seek bar. I can do it below that. Put it side by side if I want. I can right click and put in another meter if I want. Drag this around. Drag that around. Drag anything you want. That's fantastic. And if you screw up, you can just right click and reset toolbar and it puts it back to the way it was which is actually pretty damn neat but that's not the customization I'm talking about the customization I'm talking about is in something called a scratch pad let me just uh, run another track here if you go to view and then layout and create scratch box I'm gonna give you an example of what you can do here it is by default blank but watch what I can do here This is just a very small example of what I can do with this. I just created my own custom interface, and if I click Edit, I can apply the layout if I want to. Or I can import or export the layout. I can have as many layouts as I want. I can do anything I want with this player, which is fantastic. I don't believe that there is any other audio player for Windows with this level of customization. Possibly for Linux there is, but I don't think on Windows you can do any better than this. It's fantastic what you can do with it. I give this two huge thumbs up. Oh, in addition to that, it's got the best visualizations as far as tweaking is concerned. So for example, if I go back to that uh, Tristram soundtrack and I do the uh, oscilloscope, for example. By the way, the video frame rate on this is no representation of how it actually looks. It looks much better if you actually try it. With this oscilloscope, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine levels of zoom. I can change the curve duration from 100 millisecond to 800 millisecond. Uh, so if I go to 
100. It's got a much faster response, for example. It follows the color of your theme, which is good. If I do the uh, the peak meter, actually not the peak meter, the uh, spectrum, extremely accurate. I have 10 band, 20 band, 40 band, 80 band, 160 band. Very responsive. Looks absolutely wonderful. And what's the other one I can show you? Oh, this, the um, spectrograph. Spectrogram, excuse me. I can go ahead and uh, FFT size, channels, style, scale it if I want. I can change the colors right on the fly here. So if I want to, uh, instead of using the global settings, edit this to say um, red and blue. Red here. And blue there. And I can also add in other colors if I want to. It's like I said, you have so much customization with this. It's amazing. So if you're a person that likes to tweak... Oh, and in addition to that, this thing is fast. It's lightning fast. So even if you have a slower computer, this thing will work fantastic. So anyway, like I said, two huge thumbs up from me. If you like and uh, if you like a audio player that you can tweak everything, this is the one for you. Take it easy.